Welcome to Season 5 of E-Commerce Fastlane. This podcast helps resilient entrepreneurs, marketers, and founders to accelerate growth and thrive with Shopify. And now, on to Episode 237. You're listening to E-Commerce Fastlane, the podcast show to help you build, manage, grow, and scale a successful and thriving company. Powered by Shopify. Listen to real conversations with partners and subject matter experts as they share proven practical strategies, platforms, and the best Shopify apps to help you accelerate your business. The time is now for you to improve efficiencies, grow revenue, profit, and lifetime customer loyalty. Please welcome your host, startup founder, and strategic advisor, Steve Hutt. Well, this episode is brought to you by Recharge, the leading subscription management solution helping e-commerce merchants of all sizes launch and scale subscription offerings. The subscription market is predicted to grow to nearly $500 billion by 2025. That's a billion with a B. And as the fastest growing area in commerce, subscription holds tremendous opportunities to build a community of customers who share your values. Now, Recharge powers the growth of thousands of subscription merchants and their communities, turning one-time transactions into long-term customer relationships. With subscriptions, merchants are able to experience predictable revenue, increase customer loyalty, and higher average order values. Whether you're a direct-to-consumer business or an omni-channel brand, subscriptions strengthen your brand's relationships with your customers and make it easy for consumers to make repeat purchases. Turn transactions into relationships and experience seamless subscription commerce with Recharge. Get started today with a subscription payment solution trusted by over 45 million subscribers worldwide. You can check them out at rechargepayments.com forward slash Fastlane. Well, hey there, it's Steve Hutt, and welcome back to Season 5 of E-Commerce Fastlane. Now, if this is your first time listening, this is an e-commerce show where we have honest and transparent conversations about building and thriving with your store powered by Shopify or Shopify Plus. Now, if you're an ambitious, lifelong learner, which you likely are since you're here today, you're definitely in the right place. Now, new episodes are available twice weekly with your favorite podcast players like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, and many more. You can also stream current episodes, including a very relevant back catalog directly from ecommercefastlane.com. Now, in today's episode, my guest, who's, this is Encore, Encore, maybe the third time, not sure, but Brett Bernstein, he's the CEO and co-founder of a company called Gatsby, and it's G-A-T-S-B-Y, Gatsby.ai, and what they are, they're a high-scale influencer app, and we we'll talk a bit about that in a moment, but what they do is they really help marketers to scale their micro and their ambassador programs directly connected to other great tools that you're using, it could be Klaviyo, it could be Gorgeous, uh, Yachtpo, OmniSend, I mean, there's a, they have quite a list of technologies technology partners that Gatsby connects to. It really is going to be an excellent conversation. I know people are trying to figure out a way, retention marketing, and how can I scale an influencer or a brand ambassador programs through my existing customers and maybe in through social. So it's a very interesting conversation today. So hi, Brett. Welcome again to e-commerce Fastlane. Hey, Steve. Yeah, actually, I want to just uh, even just jump right in on something. We had a call last night with a Shopify Plus merchant, customer of ours, he was going on about different ways he's using our product and he used the phrase community at scale. And that was really, really like it stuck with me. Like that's what we're doing for him. He said, we enable the ability to actually scale their community. They have so many inbound DMS, people wanting to engage with them, you know, an ambassador program, an influencer program, and they have to figure out a way to actually scale it, you know? And our, su- our software does that for him. Lovely. I guarantee today is going to be a lot of notes. <laughs> I guess that's why I love this podcast. I learn so much. I like to share out to the wild and even the brands that I manage. Maybe I'd love to hear it a little further, unpack it a little bit more about like the Gatsby app and kind of, because I, you know, I know what it does because I have many brands that I recommend it to over the years, but it's, it keeps iterating and iterating and you keep expanding your reach with a lot of brands. So let's talk about some of the problems you're solving today. Yeah, totally. I already kind of mentioned one of them, which is if you are a high growth Shopify store, you do get a lot of inbound requests for people that want free products. They want to talk about, you know, your product online and get some sort of incentive. I know the processes, the processes to manage that are very challenging, right? A lot of companies we work with, mega, mega stores are still using spreadsheets and (laughs) their Instagram app to manage this and it's not scalable. 
It costs way more money that way with staff and hiring. So we do automate that approach for them. And, you know, we have released a ton of features since we last spoke. I think it was probably mid pandemic or even before the pandemic. It was before, you know, we're able to do things now, like automatically track every Instagram story your brand is mentioned in, save all the high resolution UGC content from the media and posts you're tagged in. And we're releasing some amazing functionality in April. So a few weeks from now around generating Shopify coupon codes on the fly, assigning them to all of your micro influencers and setting that data over to Klaviyo or Omnisend or Salesforce. So you can distribute those codes to your influencers automatically. And then of course, revenue tracking. You can really scale your community like this client was saying, from end to end, from acquiring the right customers to work with, doing all of the outreach to them at scale through Klaviyo flows or Omnisend or sale through journeys or other tools you might be using. We're actually releasing an integration with Rejoiner, another ESP pretty soon for the same use case. Uh, so anyways, I don't want to get too far along on this sort of intro, but there's just a lot of use cases here that really are designed around scale, you know, scaling merchants, helping them to build that community, having to hire a ton of people to do so. Yeah, I love that. I love it, love it, love it. So let's talk a little bit about the origin story. I, I think you know, there's going to be people that are listening today that may not have heard of Gatsby before. I'm going to go to my back catalog and maybe hear the original parts, but I'd love to hear it. maybe the refreshed version today, the TLDR on how did you get started? How did the, I guess, the founding team come together and the desire and the expertise to even want to build this platform? The interesting thing here is I feel like I was really ahead of ahead of the curve a little bit because when I sought out what I wanted to do next. So I guess a little background on me first is I first started a company right out of college, very different space. I can kind of relate to merchants, at least when it comes to managing fiscal goods. I had a vending machine operation designed to help school districts vend healthier products. So we had a healthy vending machine business throughout California. We had school districts in the Bay Area and San Diego. And I was doing that for a while, ended up getting you know, just too big. I couldn't manage that sort of growth. We got three major school districts in the same one month. It was an RFP process and we won the RFP bids. So long story short, I sold that first business. I was living in the Bay Area and I went to work the next four years of my career at a company called Box, B-O-X, up in Silicon Valley. Was there pre and post IPO and had an amazing experience learning all about software and how to build products based around customer feedback. So when I decided to leave there and come back down to Southern California, where I'm from, close to family, I launched Gatsby. And where I was going with Gatsby, and the reason why I tell you the origin of my background is I wanted to find a solution that was unique to my background. And the legend goes, I came across this concept called social media vending machines. And that got me down this train of understanding about how brands are acquiring consumers, you know, for their e-commerce stores. What I found was there was really only two primary ways that brands, Shopify merchants especially, were acquiring customers at scale. And this is back like 2015, 2016. It was really Facebook ads and Google ads, right? There was other things like SEO and influencer marketing on the periphery. It wasn't that like spigot, turn on, turn off, super scalable approach. And when I was looking at these vending machines, social media vending machines, the concept was converting foot traffic at your retail store into social media awareness. And it just got me down this train of looking into this social media marketing strategy. And I wanted to figure out a way, this was what started Gatsby. So I wanted to figure out a way to make influencer marketing as scalable as ads, as Facebook ads. That was the premise. Like if Facebook ads become less desirable or they're less available or the margins don't work, kind of like what we're seeing now in 2022, right? Could there be a viable third channel to actually acquire customers, you know, at scale? And that was the whole premise. And I just started diving into this idea and it all started with an hypothesis. It started with the hypothesis that, okay, a, a consumer on a website, they see a pop-up window asking for their email address, right? Get 20% off, give us your email address, go into your Klaviyo welcome series. The next thing that came about was phone number, SMS capture, right? Well, the hypothesis was if you start collecting Instagram handles, and linking those back to that customer email address, A, would customers give their Instagram handle? And two, could you make it valuable? And we launched that. We, we sort of pioneered this idea of collecting Instagram handles and providing value on that. And that's what we started at. We actually had a pop-up builder. You know, it was pretty elementary in 2016 or 17, but we allowed you to capture Instagram handles on your website, link it back to that customer's email address, drop them into your Klaviyo flows, and start to identify people to work with. 
it's just been snowballing ever since based upon really customer feedback of how they want to use this solution. Yeah, this is lovely. Let's talk about maybe another CMS that uh, connects to, or I guess a partner that connects to Shopify. Gorgeous is, you know, one of another technology partner that's very popular for those in their CRM. Is there a decent connection with Gorgeous and kind of how does that implementation work? Love the Gorgeous integration and the team there. So that's probably our second most popular integration right behind Clavio. The Gorgeous integration there's a couple of different elements to it. The first thing is, anytime a customer reaches out to you with a support issue and they generate a gorgeous ticket, well, if that customer has already opted in to give you their Instagram handle, your support rep will see exactly how much influence they have right on that ticket. So they know, hey, if this customer has a good or bad experience, there could be implications, right? If they have a good experience, ask them to leave a review or talk about it on social media. If they have a bad experience, you know, just be prepared that this could have some reach, right? So there's sort of that element of information there to your support rep. But where this has evolved, and I, I love our customers who really push us on feature requests, is we have a client, Kulani Kinis, really successful swimwear brand out of Australia, who's using Gatsby and Gorgeous very heavily. And they're using us with automated DMs. So Gorgeous just released a DM functionality, Instagram DM functionality, where you can set up rules and segments to automatically respond to incoming DMs. And we're now working with the Gorgeous team to be able to segment those DMs by influence. So you can send the appropriate message responses automatically at scale through Gorgeous DMs, right? And so to give this in perspective, we have clients that are getting a thousand DMs a day, right? <laughs> and there's just not, there's not a way, even a hundred DMs a day is really overwhelming. You, know, you take a couple hours or media, you come back to your phone and it's just like you're sucked into responding. So using tools like Gatsby and Gorgeous allow you to, to automate with intelligence that entire community building. And it's just a great experience for merchants. You made a mention about Instagram stories. And I think as we all know, one of the challenges of this is the fact that poof, they're gone in 24 hours. And so like, how does Gatsby connect to these platforms? And like, how are we able to get out Instagram stories or understanding just because what I'm worried about is brands having to be on 24 hours a day, seven days a week and trying to find anybody that's at mentioning their brand and then saving a lot of this stuff into a war chest of potential UGC content, be it picture or video. But Instagram stories particularly kind of bothers me a bit because it's not scalable to have a human being going in and double checking nonstop every six hours, like seven days a week. How does Gatsby connect to help get, quote unquote, this war chest of UGC that's potentially usable? So we are approved Facebook partners. Everything we're doing is above board. We're with the Facebook API. And as you know, as your merch listeners don't know, Facebook and Instagram, they're connected, right? They're the same company. So yeah, the Instagram stories come through the Instagram API. We can save all of the media. So like the images and videos that are done in posts, those are saved as high resolution for you know, repurposing and downloading. Instagram stories, we saved the log that they happened indefinitely. The preview of them, just through the Instagram policies, expires after 24 hours still. You don't lose that record. It's there forever. And that Instagram story event, you being tagged in Instagram story, not only is it traceable in your Gatsby account, but it then passes that event over to Clavio and Gorgeous and Yachtpo Loyalty. So you can trigger automations, right? So a great use case, Somebody mentions you in a story, send them an automated email or SMS through Clavio saying, thank you. Here's a code for your share, right? Other great use case, Volcom, great customer of ours. They use us with Yapo Loyalty and they just released a update to their Yapo Loyalty program where their Volcom Stone Rewards customers, so their Volcom customers can get 20 points, 20 loyalty points when they share Volcom on their Instagram story. We power that with Yapo. Wow. This is very cool. Let's talk about some of the new features because I just had a quick peek in my dashboard to see when the last time I had you on. And it's been a while. You're on episode number 15, believe it or not. And we're 240 something today. But so I know what you do and I've been following you along for quite a few years, but is there anything new? I knew you'd mentioned revenue tracking, but I just would like to understand what that is and how that's working. And then what are some of the other connectors that you're launching now or very soon? Yeah, so for the show, we talked about, you know, you have Loyalty Lion coming on or after me, right, in the podcast queue. So we're working on an integration with Loyalty Lion, similar to Yapo Loyalty, where you can provide loyalty points for social media awareness, right? 
which is really going back to the original premise of Gatsby in the first place with the vending machines, which is wonderful to see. But yeah, we also are rolling out a ton of new functionality this month, end of March, early April. So we're creating the ability to do dynamic segmentation. So you can segment your customers by things like how many times they've mentioned you, how many followers they have, what their keywords in their bio include, really intelligent things. And then with the new segments, you can automatically generate customizable or I should say, you know, unique and custom Shopify discount codes and automatically assign them to everybody in the segment. So this is really powerful. So you can say, all right, all my customers who have between 1,000 and 10,000 followers, I want to give them a code worth, let's say, $50 off that they can share with their followers. All of them get their own unique code and they can go spread awareness about your brand. And back in Gatsby, you're going to see every order, every dollar that those customers drive back to your store. And it's not like an affiliate program where you have to give them a commission off that. You're still going to be rewarding them through free merchandise, maybe you know exclusive access to a monthly Zoom call. We have a great case study on our website with a company called Promix Nutrition who rolled out their ambassador program in part with Gatsby. And they've now just developed it so much further thanks to like the scale we've provided them with. They've renamed it from ambassador program to their family program. It includes a lot of intangible perks like early access to new features, a monthly Zoom call with their founder, who's also an influencer himself in the industry. It includes, you know, perks that are not just like, hey, here's 10%. Because what we find is that affiliate programs are great. Our customers use us with them in a lot of ways, but it's not designed for every customer to be in an affiliate program. Whereas with Gatsby, there is certain influence thresholds that you could theoretically provide every customer with the appropriate amount of incentive to get the word out. And it doesn't require connecting your PayPal account or a lengthy signup form. And the actual incentive is a little more interesting to a smaller customer who might only get a 10% commission off of like $100, so 10 bucks, versus somebody who feels that they're part of the community. And go back to that original comment I made from this customer last night I was talking with. And it's just, that community is so important, more important now than ever with the changes to the ability to acquire through ads, right? Like just that retention and getting that customer loyalty. I know it's almost the buzzword loyalty, right? That's like, it's brought up in so many different you know ways right now, but really having that customer be an advocate for you. It's important to us. You know, we barely do any marketing. We're driven through customer word of mouth. And I know it's important to our merchants as well that their customers get the word out. So, yeah, it's interesting. Loyalty Lion actually brought up that comment. They go, you know, people really are buying with their hearts and not their head. And she really hit home to a lot about, you know, how to engage and retain customers through community. And that's exactly what you're doing with your tools. You're actually helping you find these brand ambassadors. And then with connected tech, be it the Clavios and the Omnisense of the world, you're able to communicate with these potential brand ambassadors. And it's just it's so interesting how this it all works together. Like, it's just, it's amazing. We have another thing coming out too on that point. Like, I didn't even mention all the stuff that came out, right? So Instagram stories came out, also Instagram DMing in our application. So, you know, people can start to segment their customers and have a DM inbox specific to that cohort of customers. So all of this has allowed for a really cool update. We're calling it global media tracking. Essentially, today, right now, end of March 2022, we are tracking, you know, anytime somebody who has opted into your program and given you their email and handle through a form, mention you in a story or a post, right? Or a TikTok, pretty much right now, very, very soon. And in this next release, we're going to start pulling in everybody across Instagram and TikTok who are mentioning your brand in media, everybody. And if you don't have their email address yet because they haven't opted into your program. You can shoot them a quick DM, right? You see their media, it's like awesome story. Do you want to be part of our ambassador program? Shoot me over your email. I'll put you right in. They can just DM you back their email address. You can update their email with one click and then they go right over to Clavio, Gorgeous, OmniSend. Everything syncs through and you automate the entire program with them. So it's another channel to acquire ambassadors is directly through Instagram itself and automating that entire follow through. 
Interesting. Very interesting. It totally makes sense. And I think for me, it's just like all people that listen to this episode or this podcast, they're always trying to figure out like, what is the next thing that I can do? How can I be almost first mover advantage? And I love about what you and your team are doing right now is because you really are spearheading into something. You, you had a great idea from the beginning, this social vending machine kind of idea. And it's just, it's iterated over the time, but you just keep expanding on kind of what the market needs, what brands need to grow and scale. And, you know, we know that influencer marketing really is the way to go. It really, I mean, I don't know what the latest stats are. I spoke to one influencer marketing platform recently, and they said that almost 50 million people kind of self-identify themselves as an influencer. Like that's how they want to create a full-time living. There's 50 million people that self-identify as being influential of some sort and want to and are earning a full-time living. It's incredible the amount of opportunity around there. The challenge is, I think this is where Gatsby fits into the mix, is that because there's so many people and there's these big databases full of people that you could potentially work with, the challenge is of these databasey type platforms out there, which is different than Gatsby, is the fact that do these influential people, do they actually love the brand? And it almost seems, I would call it a maybe even disingenuous because you know, you're exchanging product or money and they're not even a customer yet on the flip side what Gatsby's doing is very unique is that it understands the social footprint and you can start building like long-lasting relationships with influential people who are your customer or are soon to be your customer because you got the opt-ins and I think that's a really interesting distinction to talk about oh yeah I love that there's this opt-in component because yeah there's just this transparency between brand and consumer and influencer you hit a really good point there where what consumers really want is acknowledgement and recognition, right? When they go and publish a piece of content about your brand, they don't really want $3. They want to know that that brand recognizes them, maybe gives them some special treatment. They feel heard, right? So we have a, I can probably mention this client because they gave us testimonial on our website and in the, in the app store, Pedal and Pup. Pedal and Pup out of Australia. Awesome, amazing Shopify merchant and brand. They have an ambassador program that leverages Gatsby. Because Instagram stories are so plentiful, they built out a really elegant Klaviyo flow that acknowledges when a story takes place a second, third, fourth time. And they don't all include coupon codes, right? It's more so about, we hear you, we see you, we are tracking that you're doing this for us. And as that consumer builds that rapport with the brand, they move along internally and eventually they would be recognized for a you know one-on-one -on -one collaboration. So it's just a really elegant way to acknowledge your consumers and give them a kudos for helping your brand equity. Right. I love it. So we are nearing the end of the show for today, but let's talk about the future of the product. Like you know, there's lots of things that are coming out. This is this episode is in early April now. So there's a few things that have been kind of officially released, but let's just talk about the North Star, I guess, the remainder 22 any other partner alignment connectors i'm just curious at the end of the day i just want to know how you're going to continue to iterate the platform and how you're going to just offer value and assistance for brands looking to expand into you know this community of raving fans that exist out there yeah so with this release we are really i don't want to say i don't want to discourage the smaller merchants from from using gatsby but i'm recognizing that a lot of the value we provide are for merchants that are doing you know let's just say over 3 million in revenue annually. Just because at that point, there is a real scale issue that you can't accomplish easily. And so we're building a lot of tools for that use case right now. So just a lot more automations and integrations and connectors, more ways to leverage the data. One of my biggest, I don't know, concerns or things that keep me up at night is when we have a new merchant come in and they don't go live, right? There's too many steps involved, setting up Clavio flows, the targeting with the right segmentation in those flows, the logic. So I'm working on ways to make that easier. I just want that process of go live to be simpler. And so right now after this release with revenue tracking, TikTok media, segmentation, global tracking, all of that's coming out right now. I'm gonna focus next on just scaling up the ability to go live faster. That's one of our next major initiatives. And then in addition to all that, more platforms, right? We launched with Instagram, we now have TikTok. We are getting requests for other platforms like YouTube and other ones like even Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn. It just kind of depends upon the vertical our clients are in as what they're asking for. 
So getting more and more platforms uh, as well is going to be another big initiative for us. I love it. And I went to your tech partners page and, you know, a lot of these notable partners, I'm going to rattle off a few of them now just because I've had them a lot on the show, but like Attentive for SMS, Cart Hook for like post-purchase experience and, and upsells. Obviously, we talked about Gorgeous, Just Uno, which is a phenomenal solution also. Clavy, you talked about. I love Octane for how they're able to do quizzes. I think they have a phenomenal product. Omnisend is listed. Privy, just rattling a few here, like Reversion, you know, for uh, managing and tracking your influencers. Sale through you talked about. ShipBob is interesting to me. So how does the ShipBob connector work for those that use them as their 3PL? Yeah, so ShipBob and I have met a number of times over the years. We're trying to figure out more of a partnership perspective rather than an integration right now. There have been talks about being able to you know, automatically ship out products, right, through logistics for influencers. But right now, we're leveraging Shopify coupon codes for that, you know, 100% off codes. So right now, there's not an official, like, technical integration there. We're just a supporter of that company and they like us as well. Lovely. So we did speak offline today just before recording and understand they're just based on the technology stack and how it's expanding and just kind of the dev heavy resources to make all of this upgrades to the platform happen. So there's going to be some pricing changes, but we're able to maybe potentially grandfather in a few things. So maybe you can discuss those listening today that can kind of instead of kicking the tires, get going on this and see what Gatsby's all about. You know, everything you just said about the additional cost on our end and just the development of all of these new features, but also around the customer that's most successful with Gatsby being not as you know early in their life cycle. Yeah, more mature, yeah. And also we're still a really lean team and a really small team ourselves. And it's just to be able to provide the support and the services, I don't know if you've mentioned or seen, but like we have 76, almost 80, I don't know the number right now, reviews in the app store, all of them are five stars. A lot of them mention our customer success by name. So we really want to give a premium service to every customer regardless of whatever they're paying us. We just, we really care about the success. So we are going to be increasing our, our starting package. Right now it's 90 bucks a month. I don't want to give the current pricing away until it's completely 100% solid and confirmed, but it will be increasing. So until April 1st, we do have the legacy pricing that customers and merchants can lock in. And then afterwards, there's going to be a higher pricing. I don't know when this podcast is going to be airing. So if it does happen to come out in April, I'm happy to still honor for a couple of weeks, let's say till middle of April, the legacy pricing for any merchants who are hearing this podcast and they aren't ready to go up to the new price point. That yeah, at. and that's fair. So what I'll do, I'll update the show notes with like these specific details. And then if it's over the threshold of potential pricing changes based on when people are listening, then I'll give them an opportunity to message your team, either sales at gatsby.ai and just kind of mention the podcast. And then from there, I'm sure we can come up with a solution to help them out for at least a few weeks post new pricing. But it, it sounds like a great opportunity right now if uh, just because the platform is iterated so much and you're doing such great work, you have some amazing case studies. It's very clear that you're on to something, you're definitely a first mover advantage when it comes to wanting to get the Instagram handles as a starting point instead of just an email and SMS. There's lots of interesting things. And now as your platform continues to grow, I'm super excited for kind of where the future continues to lead you. I want to kind of personally thank you as part of the Shopify world. You're doing a phenomenal job. And I just want to just kudos to you and the team. I wish you tremendous luck and success into the future. And thanks for coming on the show for the third time. <laughs> thanks, Steve. I have chills just hearing you say all that. I really appreciate your show and, and your support as well. All right. Thank you so much. Have yourself a great day. You too. Today's episode is brought to you by Recharge, the leading subscriptions payment solution for Shopify brands. Thousands of merchants use subscriptions powered by Recharge to grow their business and their communities by increasing average order value, reducing churn, and providing predictable recurring revenue. Turn transactions into relationships and experience seamless subscription commerce with Recharge. You can check them out today at rechargepayments.com forward slash fastlane. Well, that's it for today's episode. I'd like to thank you, a loyal listener of e-commerce Fastlane. It's my hope that this podcast is offering you a ton of value through growth strategies, tactics, and exclusive insider tips on the best Shopify apps and marketing platforms, all with my personal goal to help you build, launch, grow, and scale with Shopify. Thanks for investing some time today and listening to the show. I'm so proud and excited that you have a growth mindset and are a constant learner. I truly appreciate you and your entrepreneurial journey. Enjoy the rest of the week and keep thriving with Shopify.